Hey there friends, welcome back to my channel. Today we're going to be doing yet another video for my Get Goth With Me series. This time it's a gothic lolita look, which originated I believe in Asia, but is now popular all over the world. It's a very feminine, almost doll-like style of makeup, so if you want to see how it's done, first make sure you subscribe to this channel, and then keep on watching. So as always, I'm starting this look with a good primer all over the face, and now we're going to create a base for our eye makeup with concealer. And I'm working that all over the eye area with a foundation brush. And then we're going to move on to brows. Now because I'm using a black wig for this look, I'm going to use a black cream product to draw in my eyebrows. As you can see, I'm outlining the way I want the brows to be first of all, and then I'm going to fill them in. The shape should be quite small and with a subtle arch to them. And then once I'm happy with the shape, I'm going to set that and darken it even further with some matte black eyeshadow. Now we're going to apply a pearly white base onto the eyelids and make sure those edges are nice and blended out. To highlight the brow bone, we're going to use a matte white eyeshadow. For this look, we want to keep all of the focus on the lids, so we don't want to use a shimmer shadow on the brow bone because that will pull the attention away from where we want it centered. Now we need to use a transition colour. I'm using this pretty greyish purple shade and again this one is matte finish. We're going to run that through the crease and also try to get as much of a curved line as possible over the eyelid to make the eyes appear bigger. And we're also taking that same shadow along the lower lash line to define that. Now I'm moving on to a slightly fluffier brush and I'm going to run a little bit of this coral orangey colour along the crease in a back and forth motion and this is going to give us a nice blended finish. And the same on the lower lash line but with this colour we're keeping it just to the outer third of the lower lash line and blending that out quite far so it's nice and soft. Now for some more of that dark purple and we're going to softly work that into the outer corner. I'm keeping the outer edge quite rounded out and not really winged out like I usually do. For this look we really want a big round eye shape rather than a cat eye so keep that in mind when you're applying the shadows. Now we're going to deepen that outer edge with a shimmery black eyeshadow and we're also going to apply this to the inner corners to give a halo eye effect. Again, this is going to give a rounder appearance to the eye, as will the next step, we're lining the water lines with white. To prevent that white cream colour on the eyelid from creasing, we're going to set it with a shimmery white eyeshadow or a white powder highlighter. Now for some liner, we're going to create a nice bold line along the lash line, but we're not going to wing it out this time. We're going to keep it nice and tight to the lash line.
if there's any fall down from the eyeshadows, we're going to wipe that away now so that we can move on to foundation. I'm doing my usual trick of mixing my regular full coverage foundation with some white to lighten the complexion. For this style, porcelain doll like skin is more popular, but as with any of these looks, it's not 100% necessary. I just do it because I'm already super pale and it works for me. To even out the finish and remove any excess oils, we're going to dab over the entire face with a blending sponge. Now because my skin has very little warmth to it now, I'm going to use that black cream product again, quite sparingly, to contour my face and I'm making sure that it's blended out really, really well because if it's not, it's going to start looking a little bit ashy and a little bit just like dirt and that's not the look we're going for, we want it to look delicate but cool toned. Now for some blush, this one is a bright coral red which is perfect for this look. As you can see, we're going to be applying this more like where we'd usually put a highlighter to look almost as if you've been rubbing your eyes or crying this adds to the delicate appearance of the entire look and then we're going to set the whole face with white pressed powder and I'm going over the tops of the contours to neutralise them down a little bit more so that it doesn't look too severe. Now to curl the lashes and apply a good coat of black mascara to the top and the bottom lashes and I seem to have broken the curse I managed to avoid bumping my nose with the mascara wand again yay go me For the lips, we're going to line with a black liner pencil and I'm making quite a cute pouty lip shape, emphasising the cupid's bow as much as possible and then tapering the line out before my actual lip line ends for a doll-like lip shape. And the same for the bottom lip, emphasising that lowest line and then tapering it out to quite thin at the edges. Then I'm filling in the lips with some black liquid lipstick, taking care to stay inside that new lip shape. It might feel a little bit weird doing this, but it really makes the look even cuter than it would be otherwise. So it's definitely worth just, just concentrate and get it right. <laughs> Now for some fairly dramatic lashes, again to open the eyes up nice and wide. And to finish we highlight the face with the same white highlighter we used earlier. And I'm also adding a little bit to the bottom lip to make it appear fuller. And this is the finished Gothic Lolita look. I just need to add my wig and accessories. And here we go. This is my finished look. I really hope you enjoyed watching today's Get Goth with me guys. If you did, please drop me a like and subscribe to this channel before you go. And if you want to see some more of my gothic makeup looks, you can check out the Get Goth With Me playlist, which is linked right here on screen. 
and I'll talk to you in the next video. Mwah! Bye guys!